And hello again, Internet. Well, I'm running a little late today, sorry about that. And I decided to take a look here at Catacombs. Why Catacombs? Well, it's got a bit of a notoriety to it for a specific reason, and that is game number two on the list there is actually one of the very first first-person shooters done by id Software, in fact, before Wolfenstein 3D. And it's got problems. It's got a lot of problems. But that's not the game we're going to be playing today. No, today we're going to check out both Catacomb, the 1989, the original version, and THE Catacomb, which isn't that much different, to be entirely honest. So we're going to go ahead and run through this here. Now, the interesting part about this one, about Catacomb, is it looks, as you can see here, it comes up on this Gamer's Edge disc. I'm honestly wondering if this is how it was originally distributed, because this is... Well, I don't know if there's other copies of this available or anything, but buying it in the GOG pack, which I did there, this is how it shows up. So I'm almost wondering if this was a game that Camrick wrote and sent to Gamer's Edge, and... This this disc, and this was a floppy disc, was sent out as a demo to get people to buy to buy the magazine. In fact, we can take a look at the info here and see. Welcome to Gamer's Edge, Gamer's Edge Sampler. It's an exciting monthly game disc available by subscription. Yeah, okay. So they give us a that's expensive, man. Each issue is published on discs. This is opposed to stuff like, um, now see, soft disk publishing. I should scroll down. Huh. Who's at Gamer's Edge? Now, that's interesting. See, I have not actually read all this stuff. I'm taking a look here. It's Gamer's Edge sampler. Go back up to the top. Yes, yeah, yeah. Soft disk publishing. That's the uh, address and all. It's probably not valid anymore, so don't bother sending anything to them. Trial subscription, monthlies, monthly issues, best value. So who is Gamer's Edge? And you'll notice here, programmers for it. Now I'm wondering if this is what they were doing before id Software. Mm. You'll excuse me for a bit there. Um, I do have the id Anthologies, which probably would have mentioned this in the booklet that comes with it. In fact, the book is actually in between the discs. It's kind of interesting that way. So I still have the book sitting next to me, but I haven't read it in a while, and I didn't really think about it for this. Computer art, Tom Hall. So yeah, you'll notice a lot of the names here. Tom Hall, Romero, Camerick back there. That, that's id Software. So submitting programs to Gamer's Edge. Oh, that's actually kind of an interesting little setup they had going here. So apparently they were making games... And this is back when you can make games really quickly. I mean, this, the city comes in on floppy disks. Maybe this was just their way of trying to get people, trying to find new people to hire. It's not a bad idea. Certainly not back then either. Anyway, we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at Catacomb here. So I guess this is how they originally distributed it. And this is, again, John Camerick. Your hand gestures, palm upward, in a delicate practice position. Yeah, I see... You're not going to get much story in the actual game itself. Here's the story here. We're not going to go through it. We're just going to check this game out. Whoops. Run! Now, one thing about this game, and as you see, it comes with CGA or EGA graphics. We're going to go EGA, since that is the more advanced. And it's, it's running the demo right now to kind of show you how to play. You'll see it is very gauntlet inspired. And it's kind of important to note this because this Catacombs 3D really is this in 3D. It's what they were going for, it's what they tried to do. So let's go ahead and get us started here. Controls, well, we know what the controls are right there. Control, Alt, Space for more, Escape, let's. Go ahead and go. So abandon hope, all ye who enter there. Ow. And at least it runs at a proper speed. It's not going super fast. So it's not tied to the GPU speed. Good on them for that. I hate old games that, ah, that did that. 
Now, is there anything? Ah, is there any health pickups, or is it just treasure, treasure? I don't see. I'm pressing Alt, and nothing's happening. So I guess I don't have the right ability for it yet. Now there's the exit portal, and you'll notice that it's closed off. Ow. Yeah, I might not win anymore. But yeah, you see, it's closed off. But you can break these walls. There's no indication that you can break these walls, and you'll see that tomorrow. A whole lot of that. And you also notice here that it goes... The shots go both up and down. So, the catacombs. Here we are. It has begun. No, that's not the wall to break. There we go. Boo oh boy. So yeah, there's really nothing that fancy or impressive on this, except, you know... You do have to wonder just how little time it took to make this game. Ah, the glory days of PC. I'm not going to go all the way through this game. I don't know how many levels it is. I'm also probably not going to be very good at it. I don't know if you only get one life or you get multiple lives. I'm already getting close to death here. They seem to move faster when you shoot also. Oh, oh there's a big boss guy. And if you hold the button down, you charge the shot, which makes a big, powerful shot come off. There we go. I don't know what those mean, but I grabbed one. Well, let's go through this door here. Entering level three. Yay! Ah. Thought there was a... Oh, you can't see what it says anymore. I couldn't see the whole thing. We got, like, ogre things and uh, skeletons. It really is kind of like a cut-rate gauntlet. And I do mean a cut-rate gauntlet. It's It's... Yeah, as you see, I played it once already. Okay, and, uh, yeah, it just starts at level... You get one life. That is it. There's no saving or anything. It's just how far can you get on one life. And I don't know what the... Hold on, well, let's do this. Okay, so what is the P, the B, the N? Control, build shot power. It's full, buttons released. So supercharge will be launched. Button 2 allows you to move... Ah, so there that so they did add strafing to this game. Interesting. P or space. Oh, so that's how you do the healing potion. That's what the P is. Okay. Hmm. To full strength. B will cast the bolt spell. Okay, and N will nuke. Gotcha. So there you go. Well, see, good. Reading, reading is, ah, reading is useful. Ah! And again, you fire bolts on each side. Because your character is two squares wide. And look at that. You're not really so much walking as jiggling forward. Okay, this should be a lot easier now that I know about potions being bringing you to full health. And it's not like Gauntlet where you can accidentally shoot your health potions away. That is a thing that can happen in Gauntlet. The Catacombs. Uh, except it's not the Catacombs, it's just Catacomb. So we're going to see how far I can get this time. Uh, that's pretty much all I'm doing right now, is I'm just going to see how far I can get on this last life. And I will, of course, heal and such. So I do want to see if I can actually get any decent length. So there's a key down there. Grave robbers beware! So that's where you go if you want health, or extra points. Which I don't really care much for extra points. I could right now just go end the level. But, of course, you're supposed to try to get as many points as possible. It's an old arcade. It's an old game. It's all about the score. Who can get the highest score? And then, of course, you'll notice that there's only three spots for your score. Uh, 
as a nuke spell, so you definitely wanted to go there. Ah, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna keep going. I don't want the highest score. I've already got the highest score. I just want to see how far I can get. Get back here. So the AI also doesn't just charge straight at you. That's good. You know what I hate about AI that just charges you, but no, this time they do a couple other things. They mostly come at you, but... Oh, that's going to be fun. Oh, no. You see, he's kind of sneaking around there. There we go. Full health! See how nice that is? So far, there's still only these two enemy types. Or three, I guess, with the boss one. Get away from me. I hate it when they come up side like that. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. Bad. Lots of skeletons. Huh. Thought there was a key here. Yeah, yeah. Ah, you sneaky. Oh, okay. Ah, there we go. Okay, so where's the other part? What? How? Okay. How am I supposed to get through that then? Am I just supposed to kill this guy from here? And of course, the fact that he attacks the different sides makes strafing the wall that much more annoying because he doesn't hit it evenly. Ah! And yes, get used to strafing walls like this. See, how am I supposed to get in there? I mean, I can open it up to shoot and that's it. Ah, all right. Let's keep trying. I've not actually played the original Catacomb before. That's why I wanted to pick this pack up. Aha! There was a key there! See? See? It's being sneaky. Ah, it's just being mean. That too. I don't know if there's any way to actually get into that. Okay, but I've got lots of potions. Go ahead and see here. So it's not just strafing, as you can see, running backwards is another good use of the alt key. Oh, I think I might be maxed on potions. That's a good thing. Just give me a moment here. Sorry I was running late this morning, but... Hmm. I haven't been feeling all that great, number one. Number two, I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to run. And there's a reason I'm running this today. Showing off the various conventions of it, because... I am planning on doing Catacomb 3D tomorrow. That's why I picked up this pack. Okay, uh, uh, there we go. Bunch of treasure. And a locked door. Uh, now you notice these guys are protecting a scroll down there. So, run around and see if... See, I don't like this whole having to shoot having to check the walls all the time. I don't like this. And this is actually one of the complaints about Catacomb 3D. And this is actually a good reason why I'm playing the first one here. Because this is why it's a convention in 3D. 
Oh, you know what? I have absolutely no idea where to go now. Ah, oh, see, this is the thing. You got mazes. There we go. There we go. Now, how is this fun? Having to go out of my way, break all these hidden walls, all the way down, all the way down to the key, and keep going. What's down here? Oh god. A couple bolt scrolls and some treasure. That's why you go down there. I'm sorry I'm pausing every now and then here, but my arm is acting up again. So I have to try to get the blood flowing through it. Yeah, fun. Okay, so now we're moving forward again. 1989, released via this Gamer's Edge disc. I don't know what the story behind that is. See if I were smart, if I hadn't just just woken up and tried to quickly realize what game I'm going to play. Oh, God. Because this weekend I didn't spend much time figuring out what to play. I apologize. Hmm. Coffee. Yeah, I had no idea what I was going to play. I knew I had options, but none of those options. See, now, see, the thing is that thing can't hit me in here. That thing's three blocks tall, and that space is two blocks, so... There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, see, you can't hit me here. Oh, you poor thing. I want that nuke scroll, because that's going to be a nuke scroll. Yup, that was a nuke scroll. Oh, perfect. Since the other side here isn't breakable, I can just shoot him through it and then do that. And that's just a bolt scroll. Ugh, my arm! Sorry! There we go. Try to figure out... Okay, let's try this again. Da -da 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 -da. Anything up this wall? You'll notice that I'm also not charging up the bolt power at all. Oh, uh, you know, oh, there we go. See, it would have been better if this was actually coming in from that other secret over there. And we're out. Level 5. I wonder how many levels is the end. Well, that might answer this question, then. Well, it's not totally the end, because I can see more of a map over there. Bunch of treasure. Don't you love these sound effects, too? Ah, uh, there we go. Glad you could make it. Now again, these things can't actually hurt me because this is only two wide and they're three tall. Of course, they're only two wide, so if they came at me from a different direction, they'd be fine. Please tell me I can go up through here now. Okay, well I got a key. There we go. I have to go up this way, I guess. Oh no, that, okay. That just makes it so they can attack you. But why would you do that? Why would you make it large enough for them to attack you? When you could literally just get them from a distance. While well, you're invincible. Okay, so, there we go. No, this, this, this game isn't annoying at all! <sighs> oh 
Oh boy. I got tons and tons of health potions, so... This is a big room! It is. They're not lying. Do not enter. Oh, no, no, no! Okay, well, that's as far as I got. That was as far as I got there. I'm not going to play it again because you can't save. It just goes straight from the beginning. So we're going to go ahead and quit out of this. And you see, you guys got Dangerous Dave as well. We're going to quit out of this, and we're going to go back to the menu. Yeah, Gamer's Edge. And try the Catacomb now. Which is, again, by Camerick. Press the key. The Catacomb. Now, is this bigger than the previous game? It's basically... I was just saying, it's about the same game, just not quite the, quote, demo version that the previous one was. But other than that, it's just the same stuff, so let's get going here. Entering level one! Darien Clearing. I'm going to assume that those are credits. All uh, adventure. And so there's nothing wrong with a game like this, especially, you know, back in 1989, this would be decent enough. I don't think it's one I would have ever gone out of my way to play. I mean, I like Gauntlet and all. Carrion Palace. Well, let's go to the palace. Entering level two. Please wipe your feet. Throne room. Already we were getting more of a, quote, story, unquote, here. Oh, cool! That's so much nicer than having to shoot every freaking thing yourself. Ah. There was a door back there, but no key. So, yeah, we go this way. So they've already improved the game a little bit by adding the walls that chain reaction when you kill one. <laughs> okay. Taunt us by going, hey, come in through here. Oh, nope, you gotta come in this way. This is not a bad game, just nothing spectacular about it. Also, this color palette. Yeah. If you haven't played really old before VGA video games, I don't know what was with the color graphics back then, and there's a really good video that kind of explains EGA, CGA, VGA that I, I probably should try linking it if I can find it again. Ow, ow, get away, get away. That one of these color palettes is... Oh, okay, a key. I like that. Oh, that's new! I don't know how we're supposed to deal with that. So there's the exit. We know where the... Oh, God! Okay, that's new. That's where the key was. Because of course it was. And now I'm just going to go to the exit. I'm not interested in points. There we go. Entering level four. I'm just interested in seeing how far I can get.
Now again, I'm not entirely... Well, okay. Hello, hello there, first boss we can run across. Well, I, I guess it's not really a boss in this one, just a giant... Ah, hey, well, there's the exit. Level 5, we go! Lair of Unholy Experiments! 50, 70, 90! Hmm. Obviously, we need to shoot something. Strafe the walls. Also, you'll notice how much of the screen is taken up by the scoreboard. There we go. I, I do greatly appreciate this. Oh my! Those are even bigger bosses. Fifty, seventy, ninety, and I can't get through either one of those, so... Oh, oh, oh! Game over. Yeah, that thing wrecked me. We're gonna try one more time. Because you can't save in this. It's it's You always start from zero. That I don't really like. Why do I have two keys already? Is there a secret on this map that requires more keys? I bet there is. Because you can't kick the keys with you, I don't think. Oh, I know why there's two keys. This is one there, and no, I guess there isn't one there, huh? No idea then. Oh, that would be why the second key. Right, you do take it with you, you use it there. So that is already much more improved than the previous game. I should probably be cr trying to grab more potions in these early levels if I'm gonna... But then again, I never get a chance to use the potions anyway, because I usually die before I get a chance to. I don't think I found a key down here anyway, did I? Uh, uh, there's the key. Ah, uh, my arm's still doing it to me. So I'm not going to play for that much longer today. I get, God, it's only been half an hour anyway. Ah! Do, do, do. Yeah, uh, I... Early PC games kind of sucked. Oh, and if you think this is bad, whoo boy. This actually is not a terrible game so far. Ow. Yeah, you know, you see, this is where I'd honestly... I honestly kind of think I should be farming potions. But that one's worthless, because there's nothing in there. See, I like the fact that... Why have all these extra doors like this, right? You can freaking see what's behind all of them! Well, that's it. I guess I'm going this way now. Like, you can see what's in them. I guess other than secret stuff, but even then there's no secrets there because... There's no room for secrets in that map. Hi there. And we're... Ooh. It was like, yeah, there was no, there's no room for secrets in that map. Because you can see all the way around all the doors, so what the hell? Oh, 
Oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. Wow, those things hurt. Okay, well, we're f further than we were before. Room full of enemies. Well, there's, there's, all right, screw it, exit. Level six, Secrets of the Pyramid. Hope you have potions, because you're about to die! And you see, it's going to attack you from a corner where you can't hit them. That's annoying. Ooh, I'm taking so much damage. This is why you wanted to collect those potions early on. Because otherwise you're kind of wrecked here. Not so great pyramid. Which I'm going to go around because it's got fire below. And just look at this. Look at this. This is... This is, oh, come on! Quit attacking me from all for... Look at this, man. I'm, I'm running out of potions. This is going to be it. The Great Pyramid. The Not-So-Great Pyramid. Let's make jokes. Lots of jokes. Alright, so there's going to be something I have to... There we go. Now, it's not quite the thing I wanted to shoot, but it'll work. I, I doubt that any of these with text is going to be the problem, is going to be the answer. Okay, well, out we go. Level 7! Oh boy. I've opened up two of them now. Why do this? Why even bother? Because now it's just going to make a lot of noise for a while. Why? Why Why not just have this map ready to go? And now we're in a maze. So, let's see. Potions. Could use some of those. He can't kill me anyway, so screw it. He can't get out of that. So, that was not really a impressive trap there. You know, all this pink and green is kind of hurting my eyes. Well, at least we're refilling on all these potions that we lost last level. <gasps> Scrolls that I never use, because I'm dumb. Boing! Boing! It's just a refill level. Okay. Vundaba. Great. Is there going to be no way... Oh, I guess, I guess I haven't gone this way yet. There we go. And of course, the entire map opens up, except how to get to the exit. So it's going to be one of these two? No! That would have been too easy. <sighs> Great! Lovely. Great map design. I'm enjoying this. This is awful. This is absolutely awful. I hate every part of this. Up. 
At least that one looked like more of it, you know? <clears throat> Alright, that's it. We're out of that level, which was basically just an excuse to get more stuff. Nothing wrong with that. A, a nice rest level after the pyramids. Mom. Ogre storage. Okay. The laboratory. So now we know. Those things are goblins. Those other things are... Ogres. That's an ogre. My darlings! Don't want to be anywhere near my darlings. And there's mom. Oh, how cute! You know what there isn't, though, is a key. Please tell me the key's not around my darlings. I wonder if this is going to be all the enemies in this game. Oh, come on! I was hitting space! Well, that's it. That's that's the end of that one. So, yeah, the, that's, that's Catacomb. And the Catacomb. The Catacomb. 90 to 93. Oh, look at that. Ah, uh, it's an early PC game. Very early. Back when there was just nothing for color. Yeah. It's got its charm for an early PC game. I mean, it plays well. There's nothing inherently wrong with this. It's definitely comparable to what was out at the time. But I wanted to make sure we ran through a little bit of it today to show you why Catacomb 3D Tomorrow has some of the things that it has. Those invisible walls? Oh god, get used to them. But it's actually kind of interesting to see, because I've never played the original Catacombs like this before, so I hadn't really noticed that they were just basic gauntlet game. I kind of caught... I mean, I know Catacomb 3D had that 3D at the end because, well, we took this game and made it 3D. Unlike Wolfenstein, which they slapped the 3D on that one because they'd already done it before. This is the thing. Everyone always credits Wolfenstein as being the first first-person shooter. It's not. I mean, technically, Battlezone might have been. Or if there was something even earlier than that. And we're playing Catacomb here. We're going to be playing Catacomb 3D tomorrow. Technically, Hover Tank came out before even that did. So, and that was another id software game. But those were vehicle ones, so they don't quite count. That in Battlezone. Catacomb was the first where it's just you in it. And we'll see that tomorrow. So yeah, short recording today. I'm sorry, I kind of wasn't feeling well and had to rush to get something out and decided... Let's take a look at some of these early examples so that we have some context tomorrow. And that's the main thing we're going for. So tune in tomorrow for Catacomb 3D. We'll see what one of the template of first-person shooters was. Until then, take care, Internet. Enjoy the games you play.